42, 45, that's 87, plus 8, 95, plus B1 Lingsha, 115. With our Kronz's ultimate, ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on some numbers. Oh my god, now that is unfair. Hello, Internet! You see, after, like, testing her a bunch more, I realized, yeah, for me, I would prefer to Ewan over anything over her Lycone. But something also spurred on to me. Lingsha is like a mix of Nihility right now, so what if I use one of the most broken crit DPS in the game, and by utilizing the E1 death crit from Lingsha, we can create this. The 100% defense ignore team that actually does not suck. Now, I tried this before way earlier, but the problem was we didn't really have an abundance character or sustain that could death dread. Now that we do, this is not even looking like a bad team, though. This is like an actual team. But before we start, though, everything is here are subject to changes from the Create Experience Survey. And an overview of everything. These are the stats I've got. I'm missing a bit of break effect, but you know what? I can handle that. And we're utilizing the free-to-play one is real. I feel like you could just get by with this. And of course, we got the Notorious E1. It's so good. Rattling set wise is the same one from before. These are the individual pieces. It's whatever. Yeah, hey, for Black Swan, we are not really... Well, I've got this, though, which is unique. But a lot of people actually run this with Black Swan. On Eidolon, there's no Eidolon. We got E6 Pella as usual. It's a normal Pella. And we're gonna use that with Akron. Ladies and gentlemen, the 100% defense ignore team. Now, before when I tried a team like this, it was named to be Troll, right? But this is no longer a Troll. Like, you have a sustain, you are lacking a buffer, but instead you have two debuffers, one that's kind of a sub DPS. Isn't this like an actual team? But yeah, you gotta remember though, Ling Shots E1 only will death threat if you break someone. So you kind of have to do that, which is why we're fighting MOC 11 for now. We'll fight MOC 12 later, which, you know what? We could just use so we in there. I will see you there. Paula Sparkle versus Clara's father. Who shall prevail? Well, we're probably definitely gonna win. But the problem is, like, how much are the damage is gonna go? It should be crazy, no? Today we'll be debunking how broken is death reduction, I would say. We'll start with a Q, I guess. This is kind of tough, because we gotta break them to get the E1 from Lingsha, right? That's annoying. I'm just gonna use a Q for now. Use an E right here. This will help us break them eventually. And we already have our ulti. Should I rip it? Yeah, let's rip it. We're gonna get it back, man. We're gonna get it back. Go for the ultimate. But let's just check out the damage as well. It shouldn't be that crazy yet. 300k, which is, you would say, wow, that's good. But for the fact that Firefly dunks 500, this is like, okay, it's not bad. Here with Link Shell, we got increased weakness break efficiency, but it's not enough to break them still. However, yep, we still have our sub DPS and dots going on, man. Like, it's just too good. We're not really breaking them yet, though, but this should almost kill you. Here comes the damage onto Akron. I am, yep, taking a bunch of damage, but we do have Fool yet, which killed one. Don't mind if I do. I could preserve the zero cycle. If I force the Akron LC, I don't know if I should. I'm just gonna use a Q for now, though. This will break you now. And I already have my ult with Black Swan. So I'm just gonna use a Q right there. And now that your weakness broken, I have an ult with Pella, though. So how much death threat do you have? 20 here. 16. That's 36. He's got 56.8 death threat on. Oh my god. The problem is, I don't think I can zero cycle, right? Oh, dude. How can I not zero cycle MOZ 11 with unlimited resources, dude? Well, I guess that is the problem with Akron, maybe. Or maybe I should make her faster. If she took one more turn, yeah, we definitely get the LT, but whatever, man. Oh, this is so annoying. I want to kill you, but I'm not going to rip my ult onto you. Hopefully, the dots just kill you, though. I'll, we'll stay here for a while. Gosh darn it. Do we get Fuyuan, though? Yeah, uh, we ran out. We are going to just use an E, man. Right, Fuyuan goes with a damage 3,000. Am I actually forced to use Akron's LT? Do we get the MOC proc after this? I don't even know. Huh? Oh, we do. Nice. And it's still not enough. Oh, barely. Gosh. Okay, now finally we can play. I am so excited. It's time to death threat everybody. It's a darn waste right now, though, I would say. Now they are not broken yet. Right, I cannot keep doing this. I gotta rip the all. I've already, like, overcapped my freaking stacks, dude. Damage wise. Right now they shouldn't have too much defense reduction, though. It's only from Pella. It's because we gotta break them, man. It's so annoying, but it shouldn't be too long from now. 300k, yeah. I'm gonna go for a Q and let's rip some ultimate, shall we? Let's go. Get the ultimate in. We're gonna use Fuyan as well. Get Fuyan up. We should be to break Sparrow this this way, right? We should. Bang. There we go. And boom. Done. Great. That did 163k. Dude, Ling Sha herself with high break effect actually does a lot. What? That is so good. What the? Right, now with Black Spot, we're gonna get our ensnarement in, or rather the death thread in. We'll never actually get 100, huh? That's 40.8. 
plus 42 plus 16. You already have 100, but you're about to wake up. That's so annoying. I guess that's the problem with like Shaha. We don't really have a debuff on, so in the end, I would just much prefer someone else in this slot, but this ice guy... <gasps> no, why did it push me back? Oh my god, you pissed me off so much there. So I can't hit the ice guy for like mega damage. Dang it. Well, whatever, man. It's not 100% now, is it? Oh, it is. It is. Wait, the Bloom of Wildwood bouquet is still here. It does not have a cooldown, so at the moment if I break someone, it stays there forever? Wait, that is busted, no? Oh my god. Okay, this is great. This is perfect. I'm just gonna do whatever. It does not even matter. I have over 100 defense reduction for sure. How much now, though? Let's do a final calculation, shall we? 20.8, 16, 20, 42 from exposed. We have 98.8 death shred. That is basically 100, man. We're rounding up. And with an Icron ultimate, how much damage will I do to Clara's flatter? A 8, 8. That's 69k on one slash. That's pretty crazy. And 300k on a singular target. Imagine if there was like spiral hands there. I would have wrecked them. Okay, not bad at all. Now, I would think this team is a troll team, but no, it's not even close. That's pretty good. I guess without Ling Sha, I could have had like any other preservation character with the market light cone that would have maybe been better, but well, this is not too shabby at all now, is it? But here, MOC 12, we're in a real challenge start. Now, this mode is not a mode where you can just screw around unless you have like whale gear, which I don't. Well, I guess on this account, I kind of do, so let's screw around, shall we? Earlier, it wasn't really a 100% death threat. Now, we definitely could get it, though. We got Sir Wolf, we got Pella. If I can break someone, I can get the death threat permanently, and I just need to use my ult on Sir Wolf with Pella as well, and then we get 100% death threat. That's what we'll do, guys. I'm gonna see you later. And here we are. The problem with this team, though, well, I can only use one attacking technique, so I guess it's gonna have to be Akron's. Or maybe it should have been Pella. Uh, I don't know, man. But, well, the other problem with this that we have, they don't have fire weakness. Now, yes, I could plant him with Sir Wolf, but we all know how bad Sir Wolf is with RNG. Like, watch this. It's not gonna be fire. Oh, by golly god. <laughs> it is fire, guys. Well, that's gosh darn perfect then. I'm just gonna go for the break. One guy. Just one guy hit Pella. Just, just one guy. I mean, if I'm gonna be lucky, lucky all the way, man. Dude. Alright, there we go. So, now we can break them all. And we have Pella's ulti. That also means E1 Link Shot for anyone that's weakness broken, right? Oh, yes. This is good. We only have 62 so far because, well, we haven't used Turles' ulti. Should I use it, guys? Oh, I'm gonna use it, guys. I cannot wait, dude. This is 42 extra right? I'm pretty sure. Bang, death threat. There we go. Don't die first, I swear to God. Where he exists this longer for my damage per screen shot. Oh, what is happening here, dude? What? 42, 45. That's 87 plus 8. 95 plus E1 Ling Sha. 115. With Akronson's ultimate. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on some numbers. Oh my god. Now that is unfair. Let's just keep going. The problem with Akron team. Right now, after I like dunk my ulti, I probably don't have any damage against this guy. This is not great. I guess we'll have to save our ulti for the next round, because while it's a venture later, it's gonna be really annoying to deal with that guy. We're gonna use one E right here. It's gonna heal me up. It's gonna get Fuyan up a bit. I'm gonna use my E right there as well. It's gonna break you. Go for my E. Does it do enough damage though? Not really. Do I have to use my ult again? It's such a waste sometimes. Oh no. Bang. Yeah, that's not doing enough. Oh no, guys. Let's just do a Q, see what happens. Uh, maybe you die? I'll use a Q. Do you die to this, Bang? Oh my god, you don't. Pella, do you have this? I don't think Pella has this, guys. You leave me no choice. I can't believe this, but I have to use Akron's ult. Oh my god, for that? Alright, maybe I could have, like, you know, banked on Ling Sha killing with Ling Sha's ult instead, but I probably won't kill it, so I'm just gonna go for this. Very painful and very annoying. Now, let's Q with the freaking death shots, though. Go for my E. Hopefully, we get Quantum. Perfecto. Oh, it's so good. Go in with the ultimate right there. Now, I don't even need Link Shot's ulti, I think. I'm gonna go for the E here. I'm genuinely in need of breaking you, so let's do that. All right, let's not kill me. Great, that did not kill me. Go for one Q. And now, we'll use an E. We should have enough to get our ulti in, but should we rip it here, though? I don't think I have enough Death Shred. You have 45 Death Shred. Where did you get this from? Oh, I ulted with Silver Wolf. But I haven't broke you, so we're not at 100 yet. It's only like 87. We need to break him. Let's just go for a Q. I actually could just break it with Pella, huh? Yeah, let's just go for that instead. That's way smarter. Bang. Oh boy, now we actually have 100%. 100% Death Shredded Aventry. My damage against one singular boss, half a million. If you're an Akron player, you know that is not that easy to do, especially against this guy. Alright, Frozen, get back. 
great. Problem with an Akron team. The moment I don't have ulti, it takes forever to do any damage. Bang, 17 left, but yeah, it's gonna take a bit, guys. All right, now there should be the die phase, I think, right? No? Oh, so kind of you. Use a Q again, generate that skill point. I haven't used a singular LT. I should use my LT. The thing is with Link Shadow, I want to save her LT to make sure everything's good. I should have used it, man. All right, let's just use our freaking E this time. Don't get fire. Oh, you got it to fire. Well, that's too bad. We'll just use a Q and I think I'm forced to use... Wait, 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 wait. No! Oh, come on, dude. I wanted to use Akros' LT, but I just really don't have it yet. All right, we'll waste the freaking cycle. You're going to get me back, aren't you? And uh, we... Oh, we don't get to save it. This is such a waste. 3% bad. I'm pretty sure there's a more effective way to do this, but I'm just not doing it. We're almost at the point where we have to heal, I believe. You know what? Yeah, it should be now. Let's do it. We're gonna use our ulti here. You're gonna get Buffog, which doesn't really do much. It does help me break you more, I suppose. Speaking of which, Buffog gets Akron stacks as well, so I guess it's not that bad. Let's use an E right here. We're gonna need some heals here. And a bang. Full heal, no problem. It also helps you rack up MOC. It's pretty good. All right. Listen here, you crud. Quantum. You I mean, I guess if I get fired, that means Fuyan gets an easier time. I feel like I'm dunking too much debuffs here just for them to all be wasted, no? Oh boy, I am stupid. But thankfully, you only rolled a four. Wait, you, you rolled a four? Surely I don't roll- Oh, oh, I forgot I'm me. Yeah, go ahead and roll a one, bro. Like, go ahead and roll four ones. How about that? All right, we should get this. Boom, got him. How? Okay, come on, Pella. At least you, dude. At least you. Get above four. Get above four. Oh, come on. I hate this so much. Well, thankfully, though, if you do that to me, you're gonna debuff me, right? I'm just gonna get Fuyan up with the ulti. Actually, I don't even have to. Like, my major trace prowess, so I instantly don't have my gosh darn debuff no more. That's great. We'll go for the ulti, because, well, I misclicked, so I have to. Go for the Pella ulti right here. I'm gonna let Fuyan take a turn. Hopefully, that breaks you. Beautiful. 150 now with Fuyan. Okay. You have Super Versus 4 45, exposed from Pella 42, ensnarement as well, and bloom a violet bouquet from Eva Lingsha. Everything is set on the table. Now, damage away. Damage, and we did half a mil again, which, you know what? That checks out. And just like that, I think we have you now. It still took a bit of time, though, unfortunately. This guy's just so bulky. It's annoying. All right, with one E, I don't think I'm killing you, but I just need an MOC proc, man. MOC buff just gotta go, and if that happens, we're good, but you just had to force me into this again. Oh my gosh. All all right, I have two die rolls. Truly, I'm not that unlucky. We'll do one E here. We're gonna roll a four or a three. Oh no, this is not enough. I'm gonna use my ulti. This is not enough now, is it? Ulti goes in. Oh my god. I used two skills and I didn't even beat the roll from before. All right, this is great. I guess I'm gonna use my ulti with Akron. I get it back, right? Or did I just done like a massive ass misplay? I'm pretty sure I get it back. Yep, I do. Thank you. Both of you are gonna get debuffed again. I have Fugan on my major tray, so no worries there. And yep, let's just end it, man. Get out of here. I don't think you have 100%. 62 with 8 from Super Wolf, that's 70. Yeah, you don't really have Super Wolf's ulti, so unfortunate. This would be a lot less damage. 272k. It usually does half a mil, so you, you see the big difference there. Without Super Wolf's ulti, man, that's a lot of damage gone. Almost half of it gone. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the strength of Lingsha. I'm pretty sure you understand the importance of just having Death Shred. It does so much more damage for you. I think it's pretty damn worth it. And yeah, you are adorable. Using Ling Sha as just a general healer it would be the main, like, takeaway, I suppose. I'm using her basically as a nihility character after E1, which I definitely think is really good for you to get. Even Ling Sha has the fog as well, the debuffs on ultimate. That's gonna help Akron. If you don't have an adventurine, then Ling Sha will help someone like Fei Xiao get more turns. If you have a Ranmei team, Ling Sha makes it buttery smooth. She's actually just a go. You can use her anywhere. And ladies and gentlemen, that'll be all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and take care.